the research is showing us now that the viral illness, if it's more mild, if you have five or more mild symptoms, you are more likely to get long COVID, which is very interesting. And part of this has to do with the fact that when the immune system sees the infection, it can mount a very strong response and get it out of the body. So that's when you have a fever, you're sweating, you know, there's all these things that the body does to try to get the infection out. And when it does, then there's the resolution. But when you have these mild symptoms, it's because they're kind of skirting around the immune system, they're taking hold, and you're getting these chronic symptoms. And so sometimes the symptoms persist, or sometimes they go away, and then they come back in a month or two, and then all of a sudden you've got all these weird symptoms that you didn't have before. And that's when it's really hard to detect or to determine that you have long COVID because you're like, I don't know what was happening when I started getting these symptoms because the reality is, is that it happened a month or two prior when you had that particular virus and then the symptoms went away and then they came back. The difference in the similarities with chronic fatigue syndrome, first the similarities is that they are in fact very similar. They can both be triggered by some sort of infection, exposure, virus and that you can get these persistent symptoms and the symptoms are so much the same except for a couple loss in smell and taste is really more long covid but really the sleep issues the body pain the brain fog the fatigue all of those essentially are the same to have a diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome that's really where you have to have these symptoms for longer than six months so that's another difference where long covid is really two to three months